A plane was set on fire this afternoon at the Delta County Airport. It was all part of the mandatory Federal Aviation Administration emergency training. TV6's Escanaba Bureau reporter Jessica Stevenson has the story up close. The Delta County Airport hosted the required annual FAA recertification for aircraft rescue firefighting. The drill helps keep the emergency response teams actively trained. Play how you practice. So the more practice you get, the better you become at playing, if you will. Um, I, I think the airport fire department doesn't get a lot of experience, so when they do, it's very valuable. This eight-hour drill includes a live fire in a makeshift airplane shell. Copy that. We're leaving. It allows airport and regional emergency personnel to experience the aftermath of an airplane crash and fire. As a final part of the drill, a mock press conference was held. As of this time, we can confirm 12 survivors and 9 injured. The training was also used to get the word out of the Upper Peninsula's disaster hotline. Family members can call 211 for non-emergency uh, information related to the crash. Airport officials hope the recertification helps put both the emergency response personnel and the plane's passengers' minds at ease. We're doing our due diligence and all of our safety and our regulations are all kept and we're, you know, we, we have all of that met through the FAA and they can continue to fly out of here and feel as safe as they possibly could fly. Additional FAA training will be taking place tomorrow as well. Jessica Stevenson, TV6 News, Escanaba.